China hosted the largest annual robot exhibition, the World Robot Conference 2024. This year it shocked visitors with the country's progress in what is considered the most crucial technology of the next decade. The event featured nearly 170 companies from around the world, showcasing more than 600 innovative products, including robotic humanoids. There were 27 of these robots this year, and they undeniably became the true stars of the exhibition. The development companies are striving to create highly realistic androids capable of not only performing practical tasks, but also establishing emotional connections with people. The exhibition featured medical robots for minimally invasive surgeries, robotic dogs for security and emergency assistance, as well as robotic baristas. Watch the most comprehensive overview of all the innovations, inventions and robots from the exhibition in one video. Celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, the WRC vividly demonstrated the main direction of robotics development for the next 10 years. At the World Robot Conference 2024, the Chinese company Shanghai Qingbao Engine Robot showcased its latest humanoid female robots named Qingbao. These robots became a true hit at the exhibition, demonstrating advanced technologies and innovative solutions in robotic technologies. The company's robots are designed to perform various tasks, including interacting with people, providing information and participating in events. Their design and functionality make it easy for the robots to take on roles as assistants in customer service, education, and entertainment sectors. The robots are equipped with advanced sensors and AI systems that enable them to engage in natural conversations and respond to their surroundings. The EX Robots booth attracted much more attention, and it's no surprise. The company's robots are becoming increasingly realistic every year. At the WRC, there were replicas of famous personalities, doubles of the company's employees, and characters created purely for entertainment purposes. The robots mimicked visitors' expressions, told stories with lively gestures, and entertained the crowd in every possible way. The company, which has opened its own museum of the future, now produces between four to five hundred robots annually, primarily for museums and educational institutions. Thanks to 3D scanning technology, EX robots can create a replica of absolutely any person. By the way, the company's robots are not just beautiful dolls. EX robots engineers are actively working not only on realistic skin, but also on technologies such as emotion recognition, emotion transmission, and speech so that the robots can show empathy and create the illusion of real interaction with the people around them. At the exhibition, the humanoid robot Tora-1 from Paxini was unveiled for the first time, promising to revolutionize how we interact with machines. This robot is unique in its ability not only to see but also to feel the world around. Tora-1 senses pressure, friction, softness, and even temperature. Its modular design allows for easy customization of functionality for various tasks, and its dynamically adjustable height ranging from 1.5 to 1.9 meters makes it a versatile assistant in any space. According to the developers, the robot has 15 types of tactile sensors and can process nearly 8,000 tactile signals. This enables it to recognize and handle objects with incredible precision and gentleness. While the robot does not have legs, its sporty chassis ensures smooth and fast movements. The only robot that competed with the Chinese humanoids at the exhibition was Tesla's. Unfortunately, it did not perform for the public and remained under a glass dome, which didn't affect its popularity in the slightest. Tesla holds a special place in China and the company was recently included in the list of suppliers approved for government procurement. Currently, the company faces challenges in training the robot for a wide range of tasks. To overcome this, Tesla is ready to hire anyone willing to wear motion capture suits and VR headsets day or night. Interestingly, a driver's license is a mandatory requirement for candidates. Other requirements include a height between 170 to 180 centimeters and the ability to provide daily reports. In return, robot trainers will earn between $25 to $48 per hour, plus monetary and stock bonuses, and other benefits.
Also the first full-sized open-source humanoid robot from Qinglong was shown, created by Humanoid Robots Limited. The manufacturers claim that it has 43 active degrees of freedom, can move quickly while avoiding obstacles, and can even walk over hills and ditches. Its computational power reaches 400 trillion operations per second. It is also reported that the robot is capable of performing various tasks with its hands. Humanoid Robots Limited plans to release a new robot every year, develop 100 application scenarios annually, and increase the number of robots in training to 1,000 within the next two years. Zhejiang Humanoid Robot Innovation Center unveiled its new humanoid robot, Navi AI Navigator 2. It showcased incredible abilities on stage, delivering a speech, making tea, and playing chess while closely mimicking human movements. Standing 165 centimeters tall and weighing 60 kilograms, Navi AI has 41 degrees of freedom. Its computational power is 275 trillion operations per second, ensuring lightning fast reactions. Navigator 2 is also equipped with intelligent navigation, allowing it to confidently interact with its surroundings, including recognizing and grasping objects. At the World Robot Conference 2024, Leiju introduced the robot Quavo, which operates on the Harmony OS and is powered by Huawei's Pangu Artificial Intelligence. It is reported that these robots are already being used for certain tasks at the NEO Automobile Factory, and these trials have even been deemed successful. According to Chinese officials, humanoid robots are well suited for quality control and multitasking functions in automotive manufacturing. Galbit Company brought its robot G1, which stands out from most humanoids with its arm design featuring a wingspan of 190 centimeters and a working range of up to 240 centimeters. This robot is unique because, according to the developers, it has a brain, a powerful AI with no equivalent. The developers promise to provide more information about the robot later. Another humanoid robot designed for home use was brought to the exhibition by Unix AI. This robot is positioned as a cook and housekeeper. While the current version moves on a pair of wheels, the company is already working on a two-legged version. Fortunately, today's technology is such that building a humanoid robot and teaching it basic walking skills has become feasible even for smaller companies. The exhibition also featured the creation of the Chinese company FD Robot called TLI Bot. It stands out with an impressive 71 degrees of freedom. The Android is equipped with advanced sensory technologies such as 3D vision and LiDAR, allowing it to accurately map its environment and avoid obstacles. The robot is intended for a wide range of industrial applications, including film, defense, education, logistics, and healthcare. Its widespread adoption is hindered by its cost with the TLI bot priced between $70,000 and $140,000. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.